Welcome back, Sutra Gaming Family. This is your boy, Sutra. Welcome back to Firewatch, man. Part 6, part 6 of Firewatch. And, uh, man. Huh. It's been, um... Yeah, this receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It's been super crazy so far. Up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. I am <laughs> getting drunk. Hey, D. I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. So, it's getting a little faster this way. Let's see. Getting a lot faster, huh? I'm confused because it seems like it was going. Yeah. Oh, there's a backpack. Shit! What? Ah! What the crap? I bet you that's the key to the gate. Is it? Oh no, the cave. D, I I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're <laughs> panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And what? And it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Man, I'm lost. Um I need to go that way.
Somebody's in my tower? I don't see anybody up there. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Hmm. Well, I checked all around it. I don't, um, I don't see anybody on the outside. Whoa. A taped Walkman? Oh. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. We're and in some deep doo-doo. It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Yeah, we just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh, my God. What the fuck is happening, Henry? Yeah. We're screwed, man. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. All right, I'm going to go back down the, uh, over here, down that trail that's messed up. That trailhead that's, I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. And this, this should lead me back down to the canyon to enter the cave. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. All right. So we're here at the cave. Understand what the flashlight is for. What the hell? 
Somebody just shut that gate? What? Oh my Jesus. Okay. I don't know why they gave you a flashlight. The cave's bright as hell. in here Found my way out. But I, I think there's another way where we squeeze through the rock. <clears throat> it looks like that there was another. Let me go back. I just want to double check. That was super weird. We seen the inside of uh, Henry's body. All right, um, I think it was this way where we shimmy through where we broke those rocks. I think there was another way to the right. I just want to double check. All right, we know how to get out now. Right here, on the other side, I think there's a way to go straight. So back toward the exit and then hang a right through these. Wait, no, I mean, that's it? I thought there was... Jesus, this is a big cave. Yeah, I can't go down there. I guess I'm gonna need a rope or something. Cause that's the way out. I don't know. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't a way to go or if there wasn't something down there um, that we actually needed, you know? Okay. Hmm. All right, so now we're back here. We definitely need to figure out how we get to the rest of the cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. I mean, I knew... What? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Need. 
bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Well, I don't have to go back, um... I don't have to go back over there. I can actually go back, but I have no clue. Can I? I can't even get back up there, I don't think. Yeah, I, I can't get back in from this area. I think I, I have to go around. was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Man, I am lost. No, I'm going the right way, okay. Hey, hey. I thought I was lost, but apparently not. Try this again. Okay. People like to come do some shady oh. stuff, so keep an eye on them. Make sure they didn't take uh, take my anchor out of that rock. that crazy music again uh oh ah shit are you oh god you're Brian Goodwin No, Brian. You fell. There's 
stuff that came out. Dude, are you not going to report that? Why would you not report that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Something has a part of me that that is not the only thing here. Not sure what it is, but just my gut instinct, man. So it just, so it's just a big, um, big circle in the cave, I guess. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hmm. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... Hmm. What? I, don't... I wonder if he was getting <sighs> research How? too. Climbing? I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. look, I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I wonder I'm if so it is sorry. Ned. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Wow. Um, I'm probably just going to do a super long episode right now. And, um. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. 
Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. Oh, well, that's nice. Is that all I can take? I guess that's all I need. No blankets, no nothing. All right, let's go. I don't know if it's in Ruby River or Jonesy Lake. I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Well, this thing's beeping. I 
was right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. Yeah, it so. Ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. I'm sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin. Wow. He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. are making rounds okay Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site so this dude So this dude has been following us the whole time. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. <laughs> this boombox looks familiar. I guess that's the the girls. He had quite the view. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. Delilah. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I Good idea. do now hmm. let me um pull out the map she said that we're supposed to go north hike north to thoroughfare yeah so I need to go to the canyon and then go north Hmm. 
Old Ned done uh, was climbing with his son, Brian Goodwin. Brian done fell to his death. I guess it would be better going back out this way and then going up north back to the um just sit right here. Yeah, right here. Henry came out here and got a hell of an adventure, man. I can say, I mean, he took the job and he had a hellacious adventure, you know? I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. There wasn't some conspiracy, but I'm not. He was a sweet kid with a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Oh, I wish you were as mad as I am. I wish, I wish I had a minute with Ned and a 357 Magnum. so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home I can't stop thinking about it you didn't do anything wrong yes I did and now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not and if I do I'm gonna be asked about Ned Goodwin Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay, I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. I'm not far. Okay. Something's gonna happen to her. Something's definitely gonna happen. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but so, so, the game is not the game is not gonna let you see her. Definitely not.
That fire is raging, man. You can hear it in the headphones, just, you know, that, that burning. Uh, thoroughfare. What is that? Crazy music, man. Crazy music right now. See how close I am. Close, but kind of. I guess I need to get back on this trail down here, maybe. I'm kind of lost, man. I think earlier on in the game, 
she said something about these power lines going yeah the communication lines I can't get over there can't be going back that way I guess she's not gonna be there when we get there I, I I just have that gut feeling. I need to go this way. I'm going the wrong way. And then the trail should pick up up here to the left. Yeah. Then I need to go up here and go to the right. that other sign said like 5.2 miles how is it 4.7 hey I'm at the evac spot near the ravine Delilah are you there Delilah she killed herself man I hope not I, I hope not because she feels responsible for Brian's death. She feels responsible for Brian's death. Oh no. It's the moment of truth. Oh, God, it's a nightmare out there. Hello? Delilah? after you got busted smoking pot. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. Well, you could have just said that. You really wanted me to stay. I did, and now I'm... Disappointed. Alone. Yeah. I know. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you? 
<laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? So, he I likes her. I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... So, he yeah. he likes her, but she doesn't really dig go him, I guess. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I've, uh, I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I have to find some way to move on. Something to do. What if you can't? Then that's why God invented booze, I guess. <laughs> Henry. That's true. I'm kidding. But I gotta move on. Somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. Bye, Hank. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, Henry. Oh, Hank. Sad deal, man. He done uh, fell in love with the chick. Chick ain't really digging him. So, uh, yeah, man time to get out of this place though I guess my fire watch season uh, season is over appreciate it guys there it is that's the end of firewatch it's a pretty cool little story man i appreciate you following me through this journey and uh be on the lookout more man i'm gonna start bringing some more sea of thieves content but i appreciate you watching firewatch man please let me know in the comments uh below what you feel about the story thank you man please smash that like button we'll see you in the next video guys peace